Good morning to all at Docplexus. I am Dr. Weber Sethi. I am a practicing veterinary surgeon in Gurgaon, NCR Delhi. And uh, my basic training was from Arvind Eye Hospital down south. And later on, I did my super speciality in retina from the famous L.V. Prasad Eye Institute, Hyderabad. Now I'll be talking about retinopathy of prematurity, which is a very important an essential topic not just for the ophthalmologist but the importance of this topic being on dot plexus is that everybody is aware of it that means the treating the neurologist the pediatrician the physician the gynecologist and the ophthalmologist because the rop or retinopathy of prematurity can only be screened early and treated well if everybody networks together and if it is so it's very important for the neurologist or the pe- the pediatrician to know when to screen and when to refer to a treating ophthalmologist for ROP or when to call in an ROP specialist which all children require care a timely care because if we don't take care of ROP it is actually one of the most uh, it is the leading cause of it is an emerging cause sorry it is a emerging as a leading cause of childhood blindness in india and uh, according to the current uh, the prevalence of uh, retinopathy of prematurity in low birth babies is anything in around 40 to 50%. So yes, every second child who is having low birth weight or very low birth weight will have retinopathy of prematurity. So it's something which is very, very important and it is something which is very, very neglected in the field of not just eye care, but the networking, the network between a pediatrician or a neurologist and the ophthalmologist needs to be very strong to treat ROP. So, what exactly, how do we do this? So, the important thing is when to screen a child for ROP. So, there are two criteria. The two important things that you have to keep in mind is one, the gestational age when the child is born and second, the birth weight. These are the two, two important parameters. So, if the, if the gestation age is less than 34 weeks and or the birth weight is less than 1750 grams then the child must be screened for ROP. These are national guidelines which have been given by experts in neurology and in ophthalmology all across India to follow. So the and also if the gestational age or the age at which the child is born is between 34 and 36 weeks and or the birth weight is between 1750 grams and 2000 grams. The child should still be screened if along with these two parameters there are risk factors involved. That means there are multiple blood transfusions, the child has had sepsis, prolonged NICU stay, long prolonged supply of 100% or above 95% oxygen to the child and many other high risk factors are there like respiratory one of the important things is respiratory distress syndrome so if all these parameters are there then a child even having slightly near term gestation age should be screened the other thing is when to screen the child when should when should you actually call the ophthalmologist when should a pediatrician call the ophthalmologist for screening so for these cases the first 30 days of life is essential so within the first 4 weeks or 30 days, the child must be screened once for having or not having ROP. The other thing is, there are there is a subset of this which needs to be screened much earlier than 30 days. That is within the first 20 days or first 2-3 to three weeks of life, a newborn child should be screened if the child is having gestation age less than 28 weeks and or having birth weight less than 1200 grams. So these children are prone to a more aggressive form of ROP which if screened later than 20 20 days can actually not be beneficial at all. So they have to be screened earlier and if they have that aggressive form of ROP they have to be treated within 48 to 72 hours of diagnosis else the child may go blind even after treatment. The importance of screening ROP is it is preventable. If you screen and treat early, you're saving the child from blindness in both the eyes 
so you actually say you're going to be giving a vision bolie for life it's from birth this problem is starting from birth so the important thing is that the 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 standard of care the treatment of care is in rop has been the gold standard has been laser delivery through an indirect ophthalmoscope system and uh, uh, proper monitoring that means in the nicu mostly or if the child is stable enough and has been discharged from the nicu then in the hospital premises but uh, neurotology should be around to track the parameters because uh, after a prolonged uh, time of laser the child can undergo apnea or can undergo an episode of bradycardia or mostly mostly apnea so the uh, neurotologist has to be around to monitor the vitals of the child when the laser is being performed the laser has to be done thoroughly and there are specific guidelines how to do them nowadays with the beat rop study also been uh, published and it has been proven that injections are at par and for the zone one disease of rop injections are even better than laser but there still laser is been practiced and preferred uh, and is the gold standard of treatment for rop other than this follow up is done according to the protocol followed by the ophthalmologist for rop the important thing is because we are, treat, we are dealing with neonates here children who are premature who have premature who still have premature organs uh, it's very important for us that when we use medications for dilating the eyes for doing something it's very important for us to use the correct dose so when you putting drops in the eyes either we use cyclopentolate or we used a reduced percentage of uh, phenylephrine which is 2.5 percent which is one fourth or half the dose normally used because if we use a higher dose that has a risk of causing tachycardia and may also cause some problems in the child so it's very important that after putting the we need to put just one drop into the conjunctival sac and if there's any overspill of the drop onto the skin it should be clean otherwise there is absorption from the skin as well so these things have to be looked into not just by the ophthalmologist but the attending nurse there as well as the neurologist who is present there at the scene so uh, uh, finally just uh, closing in and rop is a uh, very important so and uh, if we if we diagnose it early and treat it uh, the child will do very very well throughout his life but if we don't after a particular stage of rop the child does require either a lens sparing or a lens involving surgery uh, but still the hope should not be lost and uh, child should be referred to a proper center which deals with such uh, day to day conditions of rop uh, centers like rp center in delhi centers like l prasad i institute in hyderabad center like shankar netralay in chennai and uh, narayan netralay in bangalore so there are one of the few centers in india who are dealing with and uh, obviously uh, pgi in chandigarh these are few centers who are dealing with rop surgeries per se and uh, they they are very trained experience as well as uh, high volume surgeons who have been doing this surgery left right and center who, who will be able to do to provide some amount of ambulatory vision or maybe good vision and bring back good vision for the child and manage the child better so not just if if the, it is never too late to treat an rop so if the child comes to you in an advanced stage don't lose hope don't tell the child that nothing can be done something can always be done so if you can't treat the child refer the child immediately to a higher center thank you